Call Eliyam, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kadash, Devil honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well, who taught us the truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. And sincerely and truth from presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. All right, Shalom to the very few sisters that do listen to us as well. The Aqua, this is the brother, Yahweh coming. From the great millstone Chicago, kind of coming to you with another lesson. And you know, I was just watching this other thing with Donald Trump. You know, DJ Trump at his best, man. You know, he had extended this um this 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 uh hoax, this quarantine, you know, for your safety. <laughs> you know, an extra 30 days or, or some some shit like that. You know, in the in the in at the middle of March they told us it was to April 1st, then they, they told you it was to the April 6th. Now they're telling you or some shit like that to so-called Easter. You know, that wickedness. Now they're telling you the April 30th. Well, look, it, it ain't no pulling back. It's not about to get more regular. It's not returning back to the norm. Nobody sees this. Could I be wrong? Yes, but the only people who see this are the people who believe that America is the end-all, be-all. The people who are blinded. Um, you know, with that false sense of hope, that false sense of security. You know, nobody, whether it be the, the, the men of the Lord, starting from the apostles on down, you know, elders, you know, brothers. It's either going into the, the, the Edomites with, 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 with some sense, you know, the, 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 the Chris Greens, the Alex Joneses, you know, if that can kind of clear it up for you. You know, even to these old rednecks that, you know, voted for Trump, who was hitting the worst. That, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, that thought that thought he was the great red hope. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, except for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in the ghetto, you know, that, 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 that thing, you know, old glory is just going to blow in the wind forever. Everybody knows that it's, this shit is uh, hitting the fan. The shit is already hitting the fan. It's just flying over the room. You know, it's. It's not going back to the norm, you know. Now is the time for brothers, you know, real brothers, the sincere brothers. All we doing is remembering our training, you know. And for the biggest fight of our life, like in that movie, uh, with Master IP at the, at the very end, he got the bopping that dude, he got the beating his ass, but but he zoned out. All he thought about was hitting that dummy. He remembered his training, man. Even even going into the ways of the samurai, man. You can only just fight as good as you train, man. And, you know, we've been training, we've been reading, we've been praying, we've been fasting, we've been building up our mental fortitude and stability for times like this, man. Because this man is about to come down with great wrath. And, 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 and with him, you know, fulfilling his new world order agenda, chaos is going to come, man. Because these people are ready to bug the fuck out, man. You know. And like it says, um, what's that now? Uh... uh Matter of fact, I'm just get it, man. Because this is the spirit we should be in. This is the Romans. Uh, God, and this is Romans 13 and uh, 10. It says, love working no ill towards his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. <laughs> we show you these are the people of the Lord, man, because they working ill toward everybody, man. This is him that uh, took peace from the earth, man. You know, this is that great dragon of old. And like I seen the title, you know, from the elder, I had done, you know, squash the beef with your brothers, man, with the brothers, man, because now we coming into that time, man, where it could be no mistakes allowed, you know. This is uh, Romans 13 and... uh. 11, all right, it said, and that knowing the time, now that it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than what we believed, and our salvation is nearer than what we believed, man, you know, we getting, we getting closer and closer every day, the squeeze just getting tighter and tighter, man, and I looked at this Trump thing with 30 days, man, or, or whatever he said, to April 30th, I said, I told you, nigga, so, now wait, you know, to about right before that time, man, he gonna put the clamp on it again, and again, man, and these people are going to start bugging out and they're going to do like uh, Christopher Green was just saying on one of his videos. Hey, you know, they they, they traded their um, liberties for securities, which I thought was just a false sense of hope. He had quoted that, uh, that Benjamin Franklin uh, uh, quote. And, you know, he, he knew about the agenda. 
you know, he was a mason himself. You know, one of the so-called founding fathers. Dude from the uh, hundred dollar bill, with Ben Franklin say, "Hey, <laughs> if if you trade your liberties for securities, which are your your amendments and rights that they give you, he said what? You don't deserve either. You know. So these this 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 NWO, this New World Order, you know, this this shit is in play, man. It's in too it's in too deep, man, to 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 go back out, man. This shit this this shit is is." It's, the ball is rolling, man. You know, it's all downhill from here. It's like a little rock that that goes down the hill and just builds up. And there's nothing left for this man to do but to go down with great wrath, man. Because this Trump passing all these goddamn, hey, hey, getting all this money. What he's got a, a two trillion dollar man. This man is gonna crash your money. It's gonna be flying down the streets. You know. Before that, it's going to be hyperinflation before it just, just turns to nothing, you know, and that's going to create all kind of chaos, man. Hey, I said it the other day, man, pneumonia killed 50,000 people in one year, man. The, the, the boots wasn't on the ground. It wasn't considered a pandemic. Hey, the other possible boy here did a video like the other week, man, he was saying, what about heart disease? What about diabetes? These are, are real killers, man. They not considered pandemics. Epidemics, whatever the hell you want to call them, you know, but they really are. Hey, but this all this corona hoax, this boogeyman, it is just to, to, to bring in that auto wide KO, man. For real, man. Cause it's cause cause now the shit is it's floating around the room, man. It it did more than hit the fan. It's splashing on the walls now. Alright, this is Revelations 12 and 12. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And he knows, you know, Esau feels his kingdom slipping, man. You know, he feels his kingdom slipping, so now what he has to do is he has to act. You know, when a person is scared, you know, especially an animal, and this man is a beast. You know, in nature anyway, man. He, because he doesn't have faith. He doesn't have the spirit and power. Yeah, how about Shimmy, how Shai? All right. But when a person, but especially a beast, you know, is in fear, what do they do? They lash out. And this is this man's way of lashing out. He is the sword, man. He is the man that took peace from the earth. So he can only go back to his natural state and, and just, uh, and the natural little crybaby ass spirit he got, you know. If, if I go down, everybody's going to go down. And he does have a crybaby spirit. That's why in the book of Hebrews, he said he sought for his blessing with tears, man. But he's a profane a profane man and a fornicator, man. The spirit wasn't, you know, meant for Esau, man. He was meant to do what he did. And now it's over with. Pursuing the Lamentations 4 and um, 21. This is uh, Sirach 10 and 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another, and 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 that's and that's it going down, man. And, and he feels it, man. And he feels it, man. And it's hurting him. All right. And these people know that they're about to be reduced to naught, man. Because nobody liked them, man. You know, the whole world eyes are turned on Esau, his wickedness, his unrighteous decrees. You know, Russia had made a statement. You know, and it was on social media earlier that. The, the whole world, I think it was Russia mainly that said America is not fit basically to be a world superpower, man. Hey, and going into this, Sirach 10 and 31, it says, He that is honored in poverty, how much more in riches? And he that is dishonorable in riches, how much more in poverty? Hey, you got Jake, man, you know, he's honored for, in his poverty because of what? Like it says in the verse right above this, a poor man is honored for his skill, but a rich man is honored for his riches. You know, you got the Israelites that are honored for their poverty because in our poverty and our misery, you, you know, what did we create? Every, every damn thing in this country, you know, we built the whole country, the entertainment industry and everything else, man. We made that. So we were honored for our skill, man. So how much more when we rule this earth? Because that's going to be the world superpower. The next world superpower is going to be the kingdom of Yasha Allah, you know. Not Russia, not China, not Japan, not North Korea, not none of these damn heathens, man. It's our turn, and that's why this kingdom is falling. All right, the scripture says that Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of the death following. Not Esau and Esau, 
Not Esau and Moab, not Esau then I mean, No, Jacob is the beginning of it that follows you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All right, and those are all people that are scattered, you know, around the four corners of the earth that may look like the other nations, but go back to their tribes, those tribes through the seed of their father. All right, it says, and he that is dishonorable and rich is how much more in poverty. And now this man is broke, man. Everybody know that the streets ain't paved in gold. Now, everybody know that, um, you know, this is, this is all smoke and mirrors. This is like that movie, The Wizard of Oz, man. You know, it's just all smoke and mirrors, man. It's just a little dude, you know, in the back. <laughs> it was an Emerald City or some shit like that. There's a little dude in the back, you know, <laughs> presenting itself to be this big, great man, this great king. You know, everybody's seeing that this is all a lie, man, and that this is all fake. So this man, hey, he has to lash out. And once this, land, this man lashes out, the Most High is going to shut him down, all right, and he's going to raise us up. You know, and, and now we just got to remember our training, man. The things that are written the four times are what? For our learning, man. You know, going back to the ways of our forefathers. You know, like I once heard the um, Elder Yashawamba down in Dallas say, hey, looking east. Hey, now we should be looking more east than ever, man. You know, because this, this place is falling, man. You looking west. You, you, you acting like lots of wife, man. If you think this thing is going to continue, man, you're going to be burnt up for wanting the same thing she wants. The goodies. You know, and the apostle of the top was the goodies. You know, because our people, you know, our people, you know, they got these goodies, you know, but now these goodies are being stripped from them and they don't even realize it. These Edomites realize it, man. These these people who support it, so called, um, um, what's the fucking word? Voted, all right, elected Trump. Got them sitting up there. They realizing that he backfired on their stupid ass, man. And what? You know, they're about to lash out. What's that, Isaiah? Because this, this, this man can't do right. This man is full of wickedness, man. All right. <clears throat> and unrighteous decrees, man. What's that, Isaiah? It's the 10th chapter. Yeah, 10 and 1. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe to him that decree unrighteous decrees. And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. And that's what they're doing, man. They gave you a so-called constitution. You know, you Negroes wasn't even included in that. You know, but that's a whole other story. They gave you so-called rights, freedom of speech, freedom of this, freedom of that. You ain't got shit now, man. You know, this man don't uh, 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 um, live by his rules or his amendments, you know, which are unrighteous decrees, man. Because they don't, they don't. Coincide with the Holy Bible. It's no law outside this Holy Bible. And their own presidents have said, you know, like Teddy Roosevelt said, this is the greatest education you can ever have, man. It says, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And what would they do in the visitation and in the desolation which shall come from afar? To whom will ye flee from help? And where will ye leave your glory? All right. So, hey man, it's, it's it's time to pay. You know, for the two thirds of our two thirds of our people that you know subscribe to this man's ideologies, to this man himself. You know, our people are gonna burn with his ass, man. That's why the scripture says, um, you know, uh. uh uh, though they join hand in hand, you know, they should they should not go unpunished. All right. It says every man in this joint to him shall be thrust through. You know, so hey, now it's now it's high time, man. It's uh you know, the, the ball is rolling, man. You know, ain't ain't no turning back, man. The norm is over. All right. That was just uh, you know, my quick two cents on just seeing Donald Trump do this, you know, on social media and I said I'll really go ahead, you know, just getting the spirit about it, man, you know. You know, but it was just a short two cents, man. You know, hopefully this video was edifying. You know, call Halali, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makaka, Dodge, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well and taught us the truth into the hopeful elect. Shalom.